roof and overnight, a Miami Township family makes a run for safety as their home burns. And this morning, it's being called a complete loss as 2 News was first on the scene. And that's where we find Jordan Burgess now live with this morning's top story. Right now, firefighters are still out here at this Miami Township home. They were just spraying down the house a little bit ago. At this point, it seems like they have the fire out for the most part. Now, take a look over here, if you would, at the damage left behind by this fire. Really, not much is left at all of this home. Basically, insulation is strewn everywhere. There's stuff outside. The house is covered in foam. You can see completely through it. But thankfully, everybody made it out okay, in large part because of smoke detectors, something that you should probably even check before you head off to work this morning. But you have to see these flames from this fire that seared through this home here on Branch Lane. Now, the smoke that streamed from this blaze covered an entire block. We're told a family was inside when the fire started. And those people were able to make it out in time. We're told a woman and her three kids were in there. They even saved one of their cats who watched safely from its cage as the rest of the mobile home went up in flames. At this hour, crews say they're not sure what started the fire. That's still under investigation, but they say they know what kept it from claiming any lives. Smoke detectors inside got everybody's attention and allowed them to get out of the home before it became a late summer bonfire. Firefighters say you should make sure that yours are working. Smoke detectors are, are, are what's going to make, make or break this situation for everybody. That's the best chance anyone's going to have of surviving and moving on with, with their life. And crews will be out here likely for a little bit longer. At this point, they tell us this home is a total loss. No word yet on where the family that lived here is going to stay. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.